Hello everyone. So this headline about um, Gwyneth Paltrow just came across my feed and I kind of I kind of want to talk about it. All right. So basically it said that she said white women learn from black women when it comes to self-love. But let me go ahead and read her statement and then we'll discuss. Okay. My black women friends know themselves, love themselves in a way that I think white women are not taught to, explained Paltrow, 51. I think white women are taught to be competitive with one another, which is something I've tried to work so hard to dispel because I don't believe in competition, with, in competition between women. But we're raised to be competitive, to be jealous, to look over each other's shoulders. And at least in my circle of black women, they do not do that. The Academy, Academy Award winner continued. There is immediate acceptance and safety and appreciation. All right, so I'm gonna start off by saying, um, I understand what she was trying to say. I do understand what she was trying to say. However, I agree with the criticism that it is tone deaf and it is, it's very tone deaf. So let me break down um, what she's trying to say. And that requires me to talk about how patriarchy depends on women being competitive with each other. It's called the divide and conquer technique. And as long as, you know, those who are oppressed are fighting amongst each other, so that, that even happens right now where you have poor white people who are racist. It's the same technique. They are oppressed, but they don't understand they're oppressed because they are so obsessed with thinking those brown people over there are the problem. Um, this is the same technique with women and patriarchy. White women are taught to compete with each other because as long as they're competing with themselves, the patriarchy survives. And the thing is, white women, unlike black women, so black women don't have the commodity of whiteness. We are not beneficiaries of any, you know, system of oppression. So black women have had to love ourselves because we weren't getting any love from anybody else. Um, we had to cheer up ourselves. We had to accept ourselves. And that is because we deal with these systems of oppression. So we deal with racism and we deal with patriarchy and sexism. Whereas white women only deal with the patriarchy and sexism and they benefit from racism. So they don't even see how they're being affected by the patriarchy because they have the commodity of whiteness. They benefit from being white. And so what she really wanted to say is this system of patriarchy pits us against each other. The tone deafness comes in because she's still expecting black women to do the labor that white women need to do for themselves. It's not our job to teach. You you might learn from us because of how we have accepted and, and build up ourselves and network together and push ourselves forward. You might be able to say, hey, this is a great example, but we're not the teachers. You shouldn't come to us to learn. Um, that's where the tone deafness is, saying that white women should learn from us. Not Not quite, not quite. White women can look as an example of how to overcome systems of oppression by saying these are the techniques that black women have used, but the learning from black women is where it's problematic. And so I totally get the criticism. It's well-deserved, but I also understand what she's dealing with. She's trying to point out, hey, patriarchy is pitting us against each other and we don't need to compete with each other. We don't have to put each other down to survive, to make it, to be successful we can work together because let me just be honest women are stronger together and that's all races of women and 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 the thing is as a black woman i will say that white women can be problematic allies however i still think that women are stronger together no matter what race so i hope that she takes the criticism and you know understands where it's coming from because she's she's out of pocket for expecting black women to do the labor. But what she's saying is correct, that white women are pitted against each other and that has to stop. So I get what you're trying to say, Gwyneth, but you you needed to you need to take a step back and really think about how you said it because how you said it puts the labor on us and we're not here to do your labor. We're not gonna do that. Anyway, wanted to point that out. 
wanted to take a moment. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I have some new content for my members, so make sure you join my channel so you can check out the exclusive content. And I have more exclusive content coming. Anyway, peace, guys.